But you do mention something. I mean, you talk a lot about how to judge an idea. And, and you said something very interesting. You said that ideas are painkillers and not vitamins. Correct. The best products are painkillers. Why? Because people need them. People, some people buy vitamins because they think they're going to help. They, or they might be placebos. Other people buy painkillers. When you have back pain, when you have a headache, you buy that to get rid of that pain. And that's the best kind of product is when this, when the individuals that you're trying to, to, the audience you're trying to target, they have the pain and you have a real answer for that pain. Anything else, yeah, it's nice, doesn't mean you're going to do it or it might be for a subset of people. But if you can a target a pain that many people have, that is your first step to possible success if you have a way to solve that better than anyone else out there in a way that's transformative. And so- is it easy to bullshit yourself when you answer these whys? Like I could build something and say, oh, why, what, what, how is this a painkiller? Why is this a painkiller? What problem is it solving? And I could easily rationalize and come up with something. How do you, how do you avoid kind of smoking your own crack? Because you tell trusted friends and smart people, you know, you don't go tell your parents because they'll say it's always great. But you go and you tell you, you tell people who you really respect, who are not just geeks, but they think like, you know, they're, they think like product marketers or marketers or other people and, or, or just people you trust who are good you know, thinkers. And you say, here's what it is and pitch it in that. I, I used to do that with the Nest thermostat. I would pitch people and go, let me tell you this. And they go at the end, they go, this makes total sense. Or they'd ask me all kinds of questions about it and I would refine the pitch. And this is well before we ever made that, built the company or actually made the first prototypes or whatever. It's all about talking to people and understanding the pain that they have and giving them the solution and trying to articulate it in a, a good enough form that they go, oh, that makes sense to me. Okay, move on, right? But it has to be trusted people. You don't ask them for the solution. You give them the solution and then ask them questions and have them ask you questions about why that's going to be transformative for them. And that's the key when you can get enough people going, yeah, shaking their head and they would pay for it. 